Do you know that there's enough potential energy locked up in that thing that you're sitting in that we call a body to light up this whole North American continent for nearly a week? And then you'll hear people say, I haven't got any energy. Do you know this thing you're living in vibrates? It glows. And you know, as the image in a person's mind changes, the vibration of their body changes, and the density and the color of this energy changes, and changes dramatically. Now, when you think about money, money is really an idea. Money is an idea. It's manifest on paper. Well, you alter the vibratory rate of the energy that's called wood, and pretty soon it's called paper. And then you put ink on it, and now we call it money. If it can be neither created nor destroyed, it must already be here. If heat will cause the energy that we call water to move into an etheric state, I would imagine heat would cause what we call money to move into an etheric state. You say it's gone, it's not gone, still here. You'll never see it on the level it's on now with your physical sensory factor sight. But if you use your intellect, you'll know that it's still here. And what I'm talking about is moving your mind into a higher vibration, developing a higher consciousness, and you can literally attract all the good that you want. One of our intellectual factors is imagination. Another one is reason. With our imagination, we can tap into this infinite power and we can build beautiful pictures in our mind. But learning is not gathering information. Learning is when you consciously entertain an idea, you step out and act on the idea, and you improve the results of your life. Pretty good teacher a long time ago said, by their fruits, you'll know them. Folks will always point out reasons on why they are not living their dream. They will always be able to point those things out. But none of those things count. The only thing that counts are results. They tell it all. Judge a tree by the fruit that it bears. You can always tell a person's level of awareness by the results they're getting. If the results aren't there, they have no one to blame but themselves. For 27 years, I blamed everybody. It was never me, always them. It was hard for me to give up my old blame list. That was quite a transition for me to make. And blaming myself take full responsibility. It's not the seed, it's not the soil, it's not the sunshine, it's not the rain, it's not the seasons that's to be criticized. We must take personal responsibility. Whatever you've reaped, it's your crop. Take responsibility. No complaint. I wasn't facing up to the truth about me. I was never studying. I didn't know anything about myself. And as a result, the results indicated it. I was unhappy, sick, and broke. Every one of us are the same. The difference is in our results. When we walk into that office where the broadloom is up to our cheeks and there's a great big oak desk, that person is not that much better than you are. I don't care how big their car is, how much money they've got in the bank, they're no better than you. See, our problem is we have been living strictly with our sensory factors and never with our higher level of understanding. If a person's skin is a different color, we say they're different. If a person is a different sex, we say they're different. Are they? No. They appear different to our sight. As we see a person getting better results, we can watch and see how they're getting them, and then we can do what they're doing. Napoleon Hill says it pays to know how to buy knowledge. Now we're going to get real. Time is running out on you. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. The separator between people that win and lose is what we do with those seconds. You think too much. You're all learning the same things. The separator is going to be who takes massive action quickly. It's serious. you got a chance to change your damn life with what you're learning here. The choices I made, the work I put in, the difference I've made, my great-grandchildren will know the difference. You need to stop letting the damn world push your family around. And just because you hang around other dudes like you who also get pushed around all the time, it's not normal and it's not okay and you need to change it. So I didn't come here to entertain you today. You need to quit playing around. The world is monkeying with your family and you let them. There was some point, some time in your life, you knew you were special. 
You knew you're supposed to do something great with your life. Somewhere along the line, life started happening. Someone teased you at school, a divorce. You got into a career someone else picked for you. And you started to settle. You start to make excuses. You can be anybody you want to be. Really, Dad? Then how come you're not? They're watching you. I love you. I'm here to shake you up and get you to remember what I say today. Because this information goes nowhere if you don't separate yourself by leveraging the pain of where you are or the pleasure of where you're going. And you best get in a damn hurry to make a difference in your life. Time is running out like that. And you know, time wasted, you never get back. Now, of course, you only have to pay once. So, if you've wasted the past, you've already paid the price. You don't have to pay twice. There's no same consolation. I'm asking you to be no less sincere and be no less committed to the advancement of your philosophy, the set of the sail. Start with the teaching of your own fabulous mind where all the answers are. The rest of all the magical answers are within the confines of your own mind, but it takes the books, it takes the videos, personal conversation, dialogue from the movie. Let your heart be stirred by words. Find ways to capture. Tell me, this stuff changed my life. Turned me every way but loose. How to go from where you are to where you want to go. How to go from pennies to treasure. Be like a sponge. Don't miss anything. Don't miss what's going on. Most people are just trying to get through the day. Here's what I want you to be committed to do. Learn to get from the day. Learn from it. Let the day teach you. Join the university of life. Commit yourself to learning. Commit yourself to absorbing. Be like a sponge. Get it. It's such an important ability to develop. The ability to get it. Don't miss it. Key phrase. Casualness leads to casualness. The ability to respond means let life touch you. Our emotions need to be educated as well as our intellect. It's important to know how to respond. It's important to let life in. Let it touch you. I'm asking you to get it. Absorb and respond. Develop the ability to reflect. I call it run the tapes again. Take a few minutes at the end of the day. Go back over the day. Who'd you see and what'd they say and what happened? How'd you feel? What went on? So that you capture that day. A day is a piece of the mosaic of your life. Go back over the feelings to capture it so that it serves you. Good ability to acquire, the ability to reflect. It's so valuable to be able to remember the thought, remember the idea, remember the experience, remember the occasion, remember the day. Remember the highs, remember the lows, so valuable at the end of the day. Lock that day in. But now here's one of the most important. You've got to learn to reflect with yourself. There's something to be said for solitude. Alone. There are some things you need to do alone. Ponder, think, read, study. Soak in. See if you can't become better this year than you were last year. Better the next nine than you were the first nine. Go to the closet. Go to the closet. Closet meaning what? Away. Just to shut out everything. Life is experience, 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 and touching and seeing and looking and, and disciplines and all the stuff. But sometimes, just shut the door and wonder. 